With only a few days left before the holidays, shoppers fill the stores to spend some serious cash on the perfect presents. Super Saturday is in the books, and shoppers across the Delaware Valley hitting malls, retailers, and mom and pop shops to snag some precious gifts on the final shopping weekend before the holidays. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Lee. Normally, the Saturday before Christmas is the big day for holiday spending, but with Christmas Eve falling on next Saturday, shoppers pack the stores today in search of some great. Great deals. Ellen, you were with a few of them in Collingswood. That's right, Jen. It's Super Saturday, and that means people are out shopping and they are packing the malls and they are looking for dynamite deals on this last holiday shopping weekend before Christmas. Oh, it's been great. Um, a lot of traffic. In Collingswood, New Jersey, so many folks making the rounds, making sure they don't get shut out when it comes to gift giving this year. Hey, luckily, we got parking right on the street, <laughs> but it was definitely crowded. Um, but it's fun, too. Everyone's like out and about and having a good time. A good time for sure on Super Saturday, one of the busiest shopping days of the year. The Retail Federation says 158 million people will shop in store and online, all in an effort to make sure they're ready for Santa. We definitely needed some last minute gifts, and we decided what better place than like local shopping to walk around, see things that we felt like would be good for the fam. Um, and we were able to pick up gifts for everyone today, so <laughs> we were successful. Lots of shoppers, even last minute holiday gifts. We have like holiday sales with our Christmas ornaments and stuff like that. So it's a lot of people looking for some good deals and also looking to get their last minute gifts. People like the Hyde family shopping for the perfect secret Santa gift at a place called Time Lapse. Yeah, it's one of my favorite stores in town. I also really like the name and it makes a lot of sense because it's like oh, a vintage store. I think it's inspiring to come in someplace like this. You're never going to find um, a gift on Amazon, like clicking around, that you might be inspired to buy here. And for many, despite inflation, keeping it local and shopping in person makes it all worthwhile. I'm sure they're going to squeeze it in. I'm sure they have some some last minute uh, items that they, that they need to pick up. Collinswood is a good area to pick up a lot of individual, small, personalized items, um, and that's why they come to Collinswood to shop. And we're kind of down to the the wire for shipping, so nothing beats in-person shopping when you get to the last minute. Nothing does beat in-person shopping, and look at this deal that I got out and about tonight. I'm so excited. I'm shaking. Ms. Pac-Man, this just shows you the great deals that were out and about tonight. Everybody was picking up some kind of deal. This is for my family. Okay, who am I kidding? It's for me. <laughs> I'm very excited, and I cannot confirm nor deny that Jennifer Lee may have come down to the garage here at Fox 29 to play a game. You know, I because heard everybody a, loves this. There were a few of us that went down down there, and I heard someone got the high score, Jacqueline Jewell. So might have to go back down there again. Yes. <laughs> and Dave Eitz and my photographer got the other high on on Galaga. There's so many games on this. So anyway, so many great deals. So many people out shopping today. But I think Ellen Kaloje Fox 29 might be the most excited. So, I know. Ellen, back keep to you, that Jennifer. there for a little longer. Don't take it home yet. <laughs> no. OK, maybe. I don't think the bosses would like that if I kept it here this whole weekend. But maybe. It's the holidays. All righty. Thank you, Ellen. It great is. gift.